Tonight, many of you are suffering with itchy, watery eyes, sneezing and coughing. But when prescription drugs don't work, many are beginning to turn to alternative treatments like honey. Fox 17 Cindy Tremblay has the buzz on honey and allergies in a story you're seeing only on Fox. I was allergic to grass and trees and horses and cats and dogs and birds and mold, mildew, dust. Vicki Jones has suffered with allergies for 20 years. Like most of us, she treated the symptoms with traditional medicines. I was taking Allegra and a steroid nose spray and I use that every day. For Jones and many others, these drugs fall short. I still had the symptoms. So some are turning to non-traditional methods, like honey. The pollens that are present in the honey are actually immunizing the people against the allergy symptoms. And it's not just any honey that will do. You have to make sure you buy local honey made within 50 miles of where you live. You can usually find that at a local fruit and vegetable market. It must also be unfiltered and uncooked. Vicki Jones didn't use honey to cure her allergies. After suffering from other medical problems for 10 years, she turned to Dr. Stephen Reisman for help. During med school in the early 1980s, Reisman noted gaps in conventional medicine. He wanted to treat the whole person rather than just the illness and often incorporates natural remedies. Why is this system weakening? Why is something getting through, regardless of what it is, whether they're coming down with arthritis or allergies or cancer or whatever the illness is, I want to know what are the weak links in their chain, mental or physical, such that they are susceptible to whatever the illness is. Things that we can do preventively to not get sick in the future can also be used immediately for treatment in the present. Just ask Vicki Jones. None at all. I have no symptoms at all. Good health is certainly the buzz at the Jones home. Cindy Tremblay, Fox 17 News. Well, those who swear by the honey recommend about a tablespoon a day. They say it usually takes about two weeks to get into your system and stop working.